Hi Fred, so look, what do you reckon this is? I just made this today. Well, you're probably wondering what it is, but as a clever person like you, you probably realise it's a moth trap. It's a DIY moth trap, and I thought I'd just show you how to make one. Because it would be good for you, because you've got all those lovely flowers in your garden that you plant in your really nice meadow. So what better way than to sample how the diversity in your garden has increased with all those flowers you've planted. So this is easy to make. It costs less than 10 quid to make the whole thing. I'll just go over the basic components. First of all, the main thing, a 20 litre bucket. This happens to be a black one, just your regular 20 litre buckets. You used to have these at Meadowcroft School all the time, didn't you? you used to get things in them. You used to give them to me sometimes. Then we've got a light fitting. It's got an on off switch. I've attached that to a little piece of wood, which is then fitted to the lid of the bucket. Now, the lid of the bucket is where the moths slip in. Now, this is just your regular funnel. And I've cut the spout bit off. So it's like that. And I cut a hole in the bucket lid, obviously, where the funnel fits. See, just there. So the funnel fits in there nicely. And the piece of wood then just is cable tied across like that. So that's about all there is to it. That is the lid. This is just an ordinary LED bulb. Oh, what is that? I can't believe it. 5.5 watt. So yeah, that's just your regular bulb that sits in there like that. Very simple and straightforward. Um, inside the bucket, place egg boxes. I've only got two in there at the moment, so you want to fill that with egg boxes, maybe four or five more. So that's where the moths will hide when they drop down the funnel. We like to hide away the little crevices that this creates. So in the morning, you can come and have a look and find moths hiding away, and then you can do your identification before you release them. So that's about it really, that's all there is to it really. Well, oh, there is a one other thing. So obviously set it up, it put the lid on like that. I've got a rain guard for this in case it rains. Best to put this out when it's not gonna rain on a nice summer's evening when it's a nice sort of dry sunny day previously. So it's gonna be a nice evening. I've made a rain guard. This is just out of a plastic bottle. This one's an orange squash bottle. That just sits over like that on top of there. So if it does rain, it won't go on the electrics. You could also drill a couple of holes in the bottom of the bucket. Certainly rain did get in there, it would um, just drain away. Um, it's just a regular three pin plug on the bottom. Plug it into a breaker on a extension lead. Leave it out at night. See what you've got. A great little little bit of equipment, extra bit of equipment for you. And you see what species of moth you've attracted to your garden. I reckon you've got to have a good few species in your garden with all those lovely flower, flower meadow you've created. So give it a go. A little winter project for you, ready for the spring. All right, I'd like to see you make one of those. You don't need Terry to help you either. You can actually probably do this on your own. Just don't cut your finger when you cut this hole out with a Stanley knife or the blimmin' hole in the funnel all that. I use a pair of scissors for that. I use a Stanley knife to cut that out, but you need a nice sharp blade. Draw around the funnel, then make it slightly smaller because the funnel's got a lip so it just sits on there. All right, let me know how you get on over and out.